Ciao baby, Tenable here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss an upload. Today I'll be sharing with you some teacher outfit ideas. And I decided to try something new. And today I'm gonna read actually some teacher stories. I hope you're excited for this one. During the Christmas holiday classroom party, a boy comes up to me with a gift bag, obviously reused, and says, Here, teacher, my mom got this present and she didn't want it, and she called everyone in our family, and they didn't want it either. So she said, Bring it to school and give it to your teacher. I love how they tell the truth. If their parents only knew how much they really tell us. Mine happened at the beginning of this year. At one point, all the students were doing their assignments and on tests. It was a lovely few minutes. Oh, anyway, this one girl all of a sudden yelled out, I'm tired of this. Raise your hand if you want to go home. Well, of course, most of the class raised their hands and that lovely time was over. She reminds me in some ways of Junie B. Jones. I think that common is something she might say. I try to love them up in my head, but oh, how sometimes it's really a challenge. Student A didn't do her homework and told me that she couldn't because her mom made her go buy a new cat that night and she wanted to play with the cat instead and her mom said it was okay. The story checked out. A phone call later, mom says yes, she was too tired from playing with her cat so she didn't see the need for her to do her homework. She'll do it another time. My first year of teaching, I had a boy named Patrick who never hung up his coat. I was tired of it and I warned him that it was going in the trash can the next time I found it on the floor. Well, the next time it happened, I threw it in the trash, with the good intention of taking it out within a few minutes. Within that few minutes, a student felt sick and vomited in the trash can. Oh, did I have some explaining to do to the parents? I was very lucky because I knew the parent and had worked with him before he became a teacher. I called him to explain and I laughed and said they had the same problem with him at home. Boy, was I lucky. I offered to get a dry clean, but they said no, set it home in a garbage bag. teach kindergarten and when I was urging a student to get down to work, he looked up at me and said, You do know that I didn't sign up for this? My dad did it. My first year of teaching I had this little boy. He tried to pull the fire alarm at the first day of school. But midway through the year, he drew a picture at free time and brought it up to show me. He pointed to the picture saying, Look, this is me. On my shoulders I drew those two guys that tell you to do good things or bad things. I like to listen to the bad one. It was so funny and true. All I could do was hug him and laugh. One moment happened several years ago when I taught grade 1. Each primary class had received one of those colorful carpets with the seven continents on it. Well, day 2 having this carpet, Andre got very sick and threw up. 
When his dad came to take him out, Andrew proudly says, Daddy, I threw up all over North America and South America. This one came from my then four-year-old grandson. I had promised to take him to the local ice cream shop one summer evening. He had been playing with some neighborhood friends, and if we were going to get up to the shop before it closed, we needed to leave. As I put him in the car, he protested because he wanted to play some more. Well, we were driving, and I turned to him and asked, What kind of ice cream am I going to get to know? He would not answer me. So I turned to my husband who was driving and said, I guess I'm getting the silent treatment. From the backseat we heard, I don't think they have that kind. Just the other day in first, one of my shyest little boys wasn't doing his work, so I walked over to him and just as I bend down, he tells the little girl across from him, You're just so beautiful, I can't stop staring at you. At least I knew why he wasn't working. I have a student whose father is a biology professor at a local college and his mother and a high school resource teacher. For Valentine's Day, he made a card for his dad with a picture on it saying to great biology teacher. On the other side for his mom, to whatever kind of teacher you are. This year I worked with BSI, a special education program. I will pull students out of classrooms to work with me. Many of the children will raise their hands and ask to go with me. One day, toward the end of the year, the classroom teacher said, What? No one wants to stay here with me? Well, one little girl that I work with said, Don't worry, Mrs. Smith, I like you better. Mrs. Smith said, Oh no, don't say that in front of Mrs. Morrison. Then the little girl said, Well, not by that much. I could not stop laughing. One year in a second grade classroom, we read a story about a little girl who flew around the world and saw many different things, one of which was the Statue of Liberty. When the students were asked to name something that she saw on her journey, a little boy said, The special delivery. Too cute. My students aren't afraid to ask questions. How do you spell toad? One of my first grade students asked. We just read a story about a toad, I said, then helped him spell it out. T-O-A-D Satisfied, he finished writing the story he had begun, then read it aloud. I told my mama I wanted a dog for my birthday. My students don't care what anyone thinks about them. After a day of listening to my 8th graders exchange gossip, I decided to put Mark Twain to them. It is better to keep your mouth closed and let people think you're a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. After considering my words, one of my students asked, What does it mean to remove all doubt? students have 
all the answers. Teacher, what is an evangelist? Student, someone who plays the evangelo. Teacher, why can freshwater fish live in salt water? Student, the salt will give them high blood pressure. Teacher, Mira went to the library at 5.15 and left at 6.45. How long was Mira at the library? Student, not long. Teacher, what do we call a group of stars that makes an imaginary picture in the sky? Student, a consternation. Teacher, list up to five good facts about Abraham Lincoln. Student, after the war ended, Lincoln took his wife to show. My students are intent on improving their English skills. Ninety-eight percent of the students at the school where my wife teaches English as a second language, but that didn't stop them from giving her Christmas cards. Still, their enthusiasm for the occasion sometimes exceeded their grasp of English. Among the many cards that flooded her desk were, "Happy birthday, Grandma! Go well soon!" and "Congratulations, passing the driving test." My students can teach me. While reviewing math symbols with my second grade pupils, I drew a greater than and a less than sign on the chalkboard and asked, Does anyone remember what these mean? A boy confidently raised his hand and said, One means fast forward and the other one rewind. Students love finally getting it right. Jimmy had trouble figuring out when to use I instead of me. Then one day, while creating a sentence in front of the first grade class, Jimmy called him the scent. I, I, I shut the door. Realizing that he was right, he jumped up and down and shouted, Me did it! students will always find a way to get my attention. My sick break class would not leave me alone for a second. It was a constant stream of Miss Osborne, Miss Osborne, Miss Osborne. Fed up, I said firmly. Do you think we could cope with just five minutes without anyone saying Miss Osborne? The classroom got quiet. Then from the back, a soft voice said, Um, Cindy? students communicate well. During the driver's A class that I teach, a student approached your right turn. Use your turn signal, I reminded her. No one's coming, said the student. It doesn't matter, it might help those behind you. Just then the student turned around to the students in the back seat and said, I'm turning right up ahead. My students are sassy. During snack time in kindergarten, I asked why some raisins were yellow while others were black. I didn't know the answer, so I asked my friend, the first grade teacher, if she knew. 
yellow raisins are made from green grapes and black raisins are made from red grapes, she explained. One little boy suggested, maybe that's why she teaches her is great because she's a little bit smarter than you. My students think I look like a clown. As I welcome my first grade students into the classroom, one little girl noticed my polka dot blouse and paid me the ultimate first grade compliment. Oh, you look so beautiful, just like a clown. stick until the end. I really hope you enjoyed this trying home and the stories that I share with you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon to never miss an upload. If you'd like to see more of my content or you're just willing to say hi to me, feel free to reach out. I'll drop the links as usually in the description box below. Have a fabulous day. I'll see you soon. Bye!